This is just a quick review on the Mr. Heater Propane Buddy. I want to tell you two things about this item before you go out and buy one that you really need to know that I did not know before I went and got it. First of all, this is not the type of heater that you buy to use all the time. I'll turn it on high for you real quick. This thing guzzles down propane so bad. The second problem with this device is I don't know if you've seen the pilot light that was lit down here when this was going. There, let me show you what happens here. See how I just blew that pilot light out? Now, if you were using this thing to try and work on a car or something, or just in any type of emergency situation, and you had some wind, here in a second, this heater's going to kick off because of that pilot light being out there you go and i guess the third thing that i really dislike the most is that you can't lay it down and have it stay on because this would be great to preheat a tractor or even a car in extreme cold weather if you go out and buy one of these nozzle adapters you can buy the 20 pound propane tank yep i just ran out of propane that's how hungry these things are. Couldn't even finish the interview <laughs> or the review. So anyway, if you go out and buy one of these, you can hook it up to a 20 pound propane bottle. Those cost about 20 bucks to refill, but you're gonna be doing that like twice a week. They claim, now they claim that you can get 50 to 220 hours and it also says 3 to 12 hours on two one pound bottles I think I was getting like six hours on low with one bottle but I can't remember that that may be the case if you look at those numbers that's kind of an odd ratio 3 to 12 I mean what in the heck either you're on high or you're on low Weird. I guess on high. Either way. So there you have it. I don't believe that. I, I think I got six hours on low. I, on high, it was like gone in no time. Like an hour and a half, I think it was. So this is a great little emergency heater. But it's not something you use every day. As far as the output on high... It's like 2,600 watts, I think. It is, uh, yeah, and on low, it's 1,100 watts. This heater right here is 1,500 watts, to put it in perspective. So, if you go out and buy this thinking you're going to be able to crank more than that, you can on high, but you'll only be able to do it for about an hour and a half on this bottle. Uh, <laughs> maybe longer. I'll, I'll try and, and find the time in my day to actually test that, but it, it's right there on the internet. So it's really a waste of both of our times, but so you can't sit it next to you while you're ice fishing or something like that in the wind or anything, unless you block off that pilot light. Just be able to slide this under the car, get some heat on that block. That was one of the attributes that I was kind of fascinated with. And then I realized it can't be done unless I somehow modify this thing so there you have it those were, those are the things that I wish I would have known about this before I went out and bought it it's 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 only for an emergency I, I guess I'm glad I have it now for that but I bought it thinking I was going to use it to keep myself warm out in the garage and boy was I wrong after a, the fourth or fifth time of buying propane I figured, I figured out that I have a problem here so I do not recommend this product for continuous use at all and I also don't know if I believe the carbon monoxide claims they say you can use this indoors and then they kind of the uh, the precautions are kind of vague for indoor and outdoor use and recreational and commercial closures so apparently the catalyst is burning all the carbon monoxide. It is for indoor use.